Hey, what's going on guys? Kale Meyer with TheEasiestBusiness.com. I have some exciting news for you guys. I just talked to my media company like yesterday. I'm gonna have an appointment to sit down with them tomorrow uh, around three o'clock and we're gonna finalize all the information that goes onto the website. All the other alternate pages are already built. We're gonna focus on the paywall and the uploading of content and then everything will basically be done at this point. So I'm thinking about two weeks out and I should be good to go on the Blueprint reading course. But anyways, today I'm talking about getting the square footage of beams. This is a very uh, niche concept when it comes to bidding. Not a lot of people know how to lay out a beam and how to get square footage, which is very important for coverage rates as far as um, when, when you do expose ceilings that don't require the underside of the decking to be painted, but you still need to paint the columns. You still need to paint the girders, you still need to paint uh, the joists in the ceiling. And so you really need to know how to do this if you're gonna do commercial work uh, for any amount of time, you're eventually gonna run into needing to know how to lay out uh, a beam uh, by the square foot to figure out your coverage rate. Because once you start getting into like Acrylon 218, uh, Tanemic coating, any fireproof coatings, those become really, really expensive. And even messing up one beam could really, really put you, uh, put you under underwater on a job so when you think about it this is basically what an eye beam looks like it looks like an eye right but you get an eye beam here when you think about it you have and i've exaggerated these edges here you won't really calculate these edges here um you know when you when you go to calculate the square footage because these are going to be really minuscule i mean you could take leftover uh paint on your roller and kind of get the edges of of the i beam once you've painted everything else but so we're going to focus mainly on every other surface on the i beam and forgive me for this awful drawing but so we're going to focus on one two three four five six sides and just for simplicity's sake we're going to say this is a hundred feet long this is a this is how the beam's going to run. We're going to say, you know, whatever. It's 100 feet long just for simplicity, simple math. And we're going to say it's 1 foot wide. So, basically, if you were to cut an I beam and look straight down it, this is what you would be looking at. So, looking straight down a bird's eye view, this top run is going to look like this. And that's going to be 1 foot in width and 100 foot in length and you're gonna have one two three here and four so you're gonna have four of these same exact length and width runs so if we know this one was 100 square feet we know that these have to be 100 square feet so this is gonna be 400 square feet total just on the tops and bottom sides of the vertical or the horizontal runs, forgive me. Now we need to do the horizontal runs. So we're gonna be one foot tall here. This is gonna be one foot. And then the, the, the width running this way, it's gonna be 100 feet. And we know there's one, two sides to that. So it's gonna look just like this. One foot here, 100 foot here. That makes 100 square feet. And there's two of them. So if there's two of them at 100 square feet, what does that mean? That means 200 square feet is the total of the horizontal beam coverage that you need. So you need four sides for, uh, or vertical rather. So you need four sides of horizontal coverage, which we have here equal 400 feet for that beam. And then uh, the, the other coverage on uh, the vertical is gonna be each side because you only have two sides. Uh, to that vertical run. So that's 100, 100, 200. So your total is 600 square feet on an I-beam that's 100 feet long and a foot at all the other dimensions. So this would also have to be one foot here, one foot here, et cetera, et cetera. This looks really confusing, so I hope you didn't fast forward that, but that's basically the simple breakdown on how to get the square footage of an I-beam. So, you know, that could be very, you know, confusing if you don't know how to do it, but once you break it down and you just look at the I-beam 
how you would actually look at it in real life. If I'm looking under it, I know I need the length and the width of this run here to get that bottom square footage. Then I can take that and multiply it by four. Then I have all those faces and then I just need the vertical run, one on each side. I can get one, you know, how tall is that I-beam? How long does that I-beam run? That'll give me the face of one side, multiply it by two, give me the face of the other side, add those square footages together, boom, got my coverage there. And then, you know, you're going to do tenemic coatings, fireproofing, any of that, you really need to know how to do this. And if you're gonna end up spraying, if for some reason you like to, uh, you know, calculate the roof decking when you're spraying an exposed ceiling, and the beams at the same time, you can do that. But just know, on average, when you spray, you lose about 40% or, or you use about 40% more material to spray. On average, um, you use about 40% more material to spray. So if you got 100 gallons, calculate 140 gallons if you're gonna spray it, et cetera, et cetera. So, cause you're losing so much uh, that you don't even realize by spraying, anytime you, you bring the face of that gun off that beam and, you, and your hand's on the trigger, you just got material just flying off in the air. So anyways, guys, hope that, uh, hope that makes sense. Looking back on it now, I don't even remember what I talked about at this point, but looking back on it now, that looks pretty confusing. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Leave me a like on the video, uh, thumbs up. Let me know how I did. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, Blueprint course should be coming soon. So thanks, guys.